Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdulaziz Ahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this video, we are going to continue the first video about how do we create onboarding screen for traveling application or holiday application. But before we are going to the main topic of this video, I am so grateful if you want to click the subscribe button to make this channel growing up. Okay, thank you so much and let's get started with my video. Okay guys, first of all I want to say sorry for my English is not good so if the word I use are incorrect please help me to point out. And to this video we are going to convert our design from Adobe XD into Android Studio. So previously we have create our design like this and the next step is we need to export all the component we need to import on Android Studio. Firstly we need to export image and then font we need and then color and then this indicator okay let's start with export our image select on the image and then select export and then select it and we can select export for android and then for the design at mdpi and then for the destination we select the destination we want to save okay and then select export and if you want to download all the asset file link in the description below okay and the next step is we open android studio and then select start a new android studio project and then select empty activity and then for the name my traveling app and then java api 21 and then select finish Okay, finish and we have two files, XML and then Java. And the next step is we need to import our assets file into Android Studio. So firstly, we need to create new Android resource directory and then select font and then OK. And we need to import our font right click copy and paste here and then import tab indicator right click on the drawable and paste and then we need to import our image drawable hdpi up to drawable xxx hdpi right click copy and then switch to project and then app src main rest and paste here okay and then switch to android and as we can see we have page one page two and page three okay and the next step is we need to create new layout file new layout resource file and for the name layout screen and then select ok and the next step is we need to add dependencies to our project and we open build gradle and we add three dependencies okay we have add dependencies material support design and this one okay and now sync now okay and we go to layout screen and we add image view and as we can see we have image view and we set gravity to center and then we add text view okay look like this and we go to colors which is on the values 
and we change color primary dark to and color primary to and color accent to okay and now we can see like like this and then we add new text view okay look like this and then we need to add new activity right click on the layout new activity and then empty activity and then we rename it intro activity and then select finish and we go to activity underscore intro and then we add view pager and then we make it to center look like this and then we add tab layout and for the width set it to 64 db okay and we need to create a new xml file right click on the drawable and then new and then drawable resource file and we name it as indicator underscore selector and then select ok and then we go to activity intro again and then we call here indicator selector and then we make it center and then we add new linear layout okay and inside this linear layout we add button and then we need to create a new drawable file for the background right click on the drawable new drawable resource file and then we name it around it and then we need to create shape and then inside this shape we create new solid for the color we set it to accents and then we need to create corners under the radius 6 dp and we go to activity intro again and we call here round it and we can see look like this okay and we set font family okay look like this and we need to copy this and then paste below the first linear layout and then for the id we change to get started and then for the visibility set it to invisible and this one to get started okay and for the text set to get started and finish okay look like this and we need to go to tab layout and then okay look like this we need to set margin bottom and margin top okay look like this and we go to indicator selector again 
and then we need to create new item inside this selector and then we copy this and paste here and this to default and this to false okay and the next step is we need to go to java which is we need to create new java file or java class we name it screen item and we need to create everything we need in this project so we need to create title and then description and then another one is screen image which is we name it as screen emg and then we need to generate jetter and setter right click and then select jetter and setter and select all and okay and as we can see it automatically create jetter and setter and the next step is we need to initiate our screen which is we need to create string title string description and the next is screen emg and this to title this to description and the last two screen image okay look like this and the next step is we need to create another java class which is we use for adapter so we create intro view i'm sorry intro view packer adapter and then select ok and inside this class we need to create like this ok and the next step is we need to create instantiate item so inside this view we need to call our layout screen and we need to call our image and then text view and the last is description and then title dot set text emily screen dot get position and then get title okay and the next is description and then get description and the last is image slide sets image results m list get position and get screen image okay and the next is we need to container add view to layout screen and we need to return layout screen okay and the next is we need to create
okay and we need to extend our class to pager adapter okay look like this and the last step is we need to go to intro activity and inside this we need to create variable we want okay we have screen pager intro view pager adapter tab indicator btn next btn get started linear layout next and linear layout get started and the next step is we need to go to on create and we want to make our screen to be full screen okay and the next step is we need to check which is our screen ever uh, on the last screen or not so we create like this so this uh, check whether we ever click the get started button so if we have ever click get started button it will back to the main screen or main activity class okay and then we need to call our button Okay, and the next step is we need to fill data description like title and then description and image. So look like this. Okay, so look like this we have add all the data we need and the next step is we need to set up view pager so we set adapter for the screen pager and the next step is we need to set up tab indicator okay and then we set up button next so this method make our screen picture to be plus one or to be next screen we can see here screen pager dot get current item plus one okay and then we need to okay and and then we set button get started
and then we need to create another method called restore predata So we have create three method, restore predata and then save previous data. So this restore predata is a method that uh, check whether we have create we have click get started button or not. So it's a uh, default by false and this method private void save previous data is method that save or the last whether we have ever click the get started get started button or not and if we have ever click the get started button it's set to be true and it mean that uh sometime we back to our app it will open main activity class so look like this and the next step is we need to go to manifest and then for this set to inter activity and this one to main activity so this make our app or intro activity as the main launcher and main activity is not the main launcher and sync with gradle files okay and i hope there's no error and the next step is let's try to run our app on the emulator and then try to run our app so as we can see we have successfully run our app but we don't see tab indicator and we need to remove this action bar so we need to go to the style and set to no action bar and we go to uh, activity intro try to run our app we still don't see our indicator okay so i think our problem cause of this so we need to delete this okay and then we back to activity underscore intro and we look for the error i think our error cause of this so we need to make like this okay and try to run our app i hope it can fix our problem okay finally we can see our indicator select the date okay full screen no action bar 
and get started and when we click this it will bring us to the main activity class so when we need to back to our onboarding screen we need to clear data for this app or we need to uninstall and then install again look like this okay as we can see we have successfully convert our design to android studio and if you want to download the source code link in the description below and i think enough for this section if you have any questions or comment write it down on the comment field thank you so much and see you again on the next video